Hey, my name is Lance. The Slingshot Project is really just a lot of fun. It's fun and easy to use, it's surprisingly durable, and you can shoot it pretty far. So let's jump right in. The first step is to create two squares like this. Then glue four craft cubes into the corners of one square, and then glue the other square on top. Then glue four more craft sticks onto each side of this piece. Next, choose one side to be the front of the slingshot and glue a stick upright onto each side. Then from there, glue two more sticks that connect the top of this one to the bottom corner of the base. These triangle side pieces are what are actually going to support the slingshot when it's being pulled back. Next, glue two more vertical sticks onto the front corners of the slingshot. Then connect the vertical sticks with another cube on top. Finish the structure by gluing one more stick that connects the vertical columns. Make sure that this stick is lower than the halfway point, otherwise it might collide with the sling. To prepare for the sling, glue two more cubes onto the front of the slingshot here and here. Once the glue has dried completely, stretch out a rubber band between those cubes. Make sure that the rubber band is resting in that gap between the cubes. To make the sling, first cut a piece of cardstock that's about an inch and a half wide and three inches long. The dimensions don't have to be precise. Curve that piece of cardstock into a C shape and wedge it between the rubber bands. Then use several layers of tape to attach that cardstock sling to the rubber bands. If you only use one layer of tape, the rubber bands will probably tear through it. Okay, we're ready to fire. Put one hand under the back of the base and then grasp the front of the base. Then use your other hand to load your projectile. I like using these foam cubes. Then pinch the top and bottom of the sling, pull back as much as you want, and let go. Okay, and that's how you build the basic design. There are a lot of fundamental engineering and physics concepts in this that you can talk about. There's potential to kinetic energy. The slingshot utilizes triangles on both sides to support a sling. Using triangles or trusses in structural engineering is a really fundamental concept. You can also try making it more powerful by adding on more rubber bands, which may require you to redesign it to make the structure even stronger to accommodate that additional force. And my personal favorite, you can experiment with the projectiles. The weight and density and shape and size all affect how far the slingshot can shoot. So if you're going to experiment with one thing, I definitely recommend trying out different projectiles. Okay, that's all for this project. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.